Okay guys, so today we're going to have a bit of a play with the um, this product. It's been out for a little while now. It's called Panzer Putty. Some um, some brands of Panzer Putty. I've got the, the MIG one here. Uh, they call it Masking Putty, but it's pretty much the same stuff. Um, it, it, it's a good replacement for, like we use that Silly Putty or Bouncing Putty. Um, we can use Blue Tack for the same reason, but this stuff here is just a little bit better. It's, it's more made you know, specifically for what we do with it. Um, it it's, hasn't got that sticky, oily residue that it leaves behind with blue tack and stuff like that. Um, it, it is really easy to handle. I've just been having a good old play with it here. Um, I've also like, done a bit of work with painting and stuff like that, and the paint just seems to just dissolve into the stuff. And I use like a piece like about that size and sprayed it, I don't know how many times, like heaps of times, and um, it, it still seems to stick okay and everything, it all still works okay. It's just got heaps of uses, the same as we do with our silly putty and that. You can cut it up in little small pieces to make flex and stuff like that. Um, if you can cut out, like if we get a nice flat piece like that, and you want to like mask a stencil or something, you, you can actually cut it nice and neat like that. Um, even like, you know, wavy lines, like so. Peel that bit off. Um, hopefully the camera's picking that up for you, but you can cut it into whatever shapes you want. You know, nice square shapes. Um, yeah, whatever you like, really easy to work with. And if you've got heaps of it lying around, like little pieces like this, you just grab a chunk like that, same as we do with our blue tack and stuff, and it just picks it up, okay? Now the trick to handling this is the same as with blue tack and that, guys, where if you pull on it quickly, it'll it'll snap, okay? If you pull on it slow, it'll stretch. So get my hands up to the camera here so you can see it a little bit, okay? Put the camera to focus for you, okay? nice and slow and it'll stretch okay but if you pull it quick it just snaps okay um, you can use like nice big flat lines like that oh, to, to get the flat lines you, you basically well the way I do it is just flatten out a piece like so um, have one end stuck down and just pull on it like so okay and if you want it to be that width you just hold it down there hold it down there hold it down there and it just pulls it down to a line then you can cut that up um, you do the same thing with the, the rolled parts like this up here, but just to have it instead of a flat, just you have it in a round and pull it out, okay? And you can get it to whatever width or whatever you like. Um, it just it just seems to be really easy to handle once you get used to handling it. I'd say if you're going to get some, um, like just have a good old play with it first, use it a few times, see what you reckon. Um, but I, I'm sold on it, guys. Now, the stuff's not cheap. Um, I, I know when you compare it to blue tack or silly putty it's definitely not cheap but you know it, it's it's going to last forever in a day this stuff or well, from what I've seen so far it's going to last forever in a day and it's just it's just so great to use doesn't leave any residue behind I've had it um, on the bare metal finishes I've had it on paint um, I've left it on there for a few days peeled it off hasn't left any any sort of marks or anything like that it hasn't got that oily feel it doesn't leave any residue on your fingers or anything like that uh, if you look around YouTube, there's a few different um, uh, people have got videos up about the stuff and different things you can you can use it for and how to use it. But yeah, most of us have been around um, with blue tack or silly putty, and it's the same thing anyway. One of the things I do like about it is um, when you lay this stuff down, you know, just say so you're doing a camo effect, like so. If you let that sit there for a few minutes, and under its own weight, it will actually settle itself down to the surface. It, 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 you know, if, if you left that there for an hour, I'll come back and that'll just be a blob. Okay, so just be aware of that when you put it down. If it's in, in you know, like a light thing like so, um, it'll only settle down to the surface. It won't flatten out and spread, but in big chunks like that, it will actually start melting down. You can do hard edge or soft edge camo with it. You know, the hard edge, hard edge, hard edge obviously, the same we do with the blue tack. Push it out nice and flat like that, and it gives you a hard edge. If you want a soft edge, do it in a roll like so, okay, and that'll give you a soft edge camo then. But yeah, guys, that's um, just a quick review on the stuff. Comes in your in your tin like this. Um, it, you know, one of the things like you notice if you le leave it in the tin like so, put the lid on, come back in an hour, and that'll all be flat in the bottom of the tin. It's it's got that sort of effect to it. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm sold on the stuff. Uh, like I say, it's not cheap, but. Um, for my money, it's definitely worth it. I, I love it. Um, I, I probably will get a second tin. I think um, the 80 grams is okay, but if you're doing a large project, you'd have to do it in sections. I, I don't know. I'll see how I go with it. Um, 
would be handy to have a second tin around to do larger projects. But um, yeah, guys, uh, if you've got the money and instead of you know buying another two packs of blue tack every however, however often you have to buy it, go out and get some of this stuff, guys. It's going to last you forever a day. And um, yeah, that's my review. Thanks, guys.